India may not have the unending lush vineyards of California's Napa Valley or Tuscany or even a culture like theirs where wine has been a staple for centuries. But over the past two decades, the country's map has added a new tourism destination, Nashik in Maharashtra, that can offer at least a fraction of their charm and experience. Over 20 small and big wineries have mushroomed in the grape-growing Nashik, with each of them having a different market positioning, and the beverage is gradually gaining acceptability in the local culture and shedding its tag in India as an elitist drink. Manoj Jagtap, a coordinator at the All India Wine Producers Association, said all the wineries are in a 50km radius, with each of them having something unique to offer. While Sula is a commercial success story that's most talked about, there are many others that offer different experiences, luxury, boutique and homegrown, family-owned, where winemakers themselves guide visitors through the tastings. And many people from Maharashtra's urban centres are heading to these to celebrate their special occasions, unwind with their families or just to learn more about wine. So why did you decide to go to a vineyard for your bachelorette? It was all my sister's idea actually, it was a very big surprise for me, so I didn't know till the time we were driving. And it seemed like a good idea at that <laughs> point in time. <laughs> so why did you decide to go to a vineyard? I think just because of lack of options in Bombay. Plus I think I'm, I'm, she knows that I'm a wine drinker and wine lover, so mm -hmm. I think that's why she yeah. chose Nasik. Yeah. Sula because of I guess the proximity to the actual city and most of the Airbnbs. Right. But in hindsight, maybe the other vineyards would have made more sense hmm. because for Sula, at least the value for money as well as like the actual amount of crowd, the actual experience, experience yeah. and the, the number, the sheer number of people over the weekend is probably not worth it. Hmm. The size of the Indian wine market touched 1900 crore rupees in 2020 as per the market information report cited by Sula in its draft Red Herring Prospectus with the Securities and Exchange Board of India for its initial public offering. Anecdotally, many industry players peg Nashik's contribution to the market size at 80%, mainly due to the region's climate, warm days and cold nights and the free-draining soil that make for a favourable combination for growing wine-making grapes of different varieties. The North Maharashtra district has been traditionally known as a pilgrimage destination and an industrial hub. But industry insiders say this rarely clashes with its emerging identity as a wine country and if anything only feeds into it. Monet Dhavle, senior vice president in charge of hospitality at Sula Vineyards, said there are many tourists who come to Nashik, visit a pilgrimage site on one day and a vineyard the next. Similarly, many foreign company executives visiting Nashik's industrial areas also end up visiting the wineries, he said. A 46-kilometer drive from Nashik to Igatpuri, first through a smooth highway, then a crowded village marketplace and later desolate winding roads, brings us to the ivy-covered bare shell facility of Grova Zampa at the foot of a hillock of about 35 acres. About 15 acres of it is covered with wines bearing different grape varieties such as Tempraneo, Vionir, Grenache and Shiraz. The entire premises are undergoing an overhaul. The Grover Zampa employee in charge of the company's Nashik winery said, A spanking new tasting room lined with oak barrels on either side, wine coolers at one corner, a long table at the centre and a glass-covered premium section complete with spouts and basins is 90% ready. The spouts and basins are because wine is supposed to be spat out during tastings. There are plans for a luxury hilltop resort for which Grover Zampa is looking to tie up with one of the five-star hospitality companies. At Grover Zampa, the tour and tastings start with telling visitors that medically, more than 100 to 110 ml of wine per day is not recommended. If the wines are bearing grapes, visitors are at times also taken up on the hill amid the vineyards with info bites such as how the basal rock in Nashik helps grapes retain more minerality or how Nashik's high fertility volcanic soil is good for red grapes and adds a hint of smokiness, and how all wine barrels bear the last name of the farmer who has grown the fruit used in the batch to ensure consistency. About 20 minutes from Grover Zampa is Vallone Vineyard, a picturesque drive away with water bodies on either side. The unique selling point of Vallone, a small boutique vineyard, is its view. It's a lakefront location. Vallone likes its exclusivity. It only has four resort rooms and it only does three batches of wine tastings in a day, all personally guided by the chief winemaker, Sanket Gavan. 
Besides, Vallone also takes personalized orders for special occasions where people can select their choice of grape and the extent of aging. The wine is aged in a 28 liters barrel that yields 38 bottles. During his wine tours, 52 year old wine guide Manoj Jagtap often tries to pair Maharashtrian food with wine. Bhakri, Chutney, Puran Puri, Pitla. A group of 20 international clients have already booked with us for November 2023 for a food and wine tour, he says. They will get the experience of using a traditional cooking stove, have a sit down meal in a traditional pangat, which is a row and taste different varieties of local wines with each course. At the Sula Vineyard in Nashik, one can see a mix of couples, families, new parents with their babies, all soaking in the sun, taking a few pictures and enjoying wine, showing that the beverage is slowly gaining acceptance in Indian culture and drinking wine as a family is not uncommon. Yeah, I got my family here actually, okay, yeah. Family and here. my pet dog. Okay. Yeah. Um, how has it been so far? It's been very nice. I had come here four years back with a school trip and it has completely changed and it's really nice. I think wine is something which uh, people of all age group enjoy watching the process of and they've done it very beautifully here. And do yeah. you enjoy uh, having wine occasionally? Uh, no, I don't drink yet. Don't drink yeah, I don't drink yet. But my mom and dad, of course, they love tasting different kinds of wine. So right. they might enjoy the place better. Okay. But uh, overall, uh, not only for the wine tasting, this place is also known for the ambience it has, like the restaurants and the decor they have. So it's definitely very nice even for children to come and watch. Right. And yeah. are you aware of the other vineyards around? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm aware about Soma, the village. Mm -hmm. There's one more. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of other vineyards which don't only really have grape wine, but like wine made of jamun and also while on the way here yeah, we came all the way from Hadgat. we had gone on a tour there so on the way here yeah, there are a lot of wine yards okay yeah but you've not been to Delhi. we haven't after this we're going to soma the village sula while like it was just a like it was a tag right technically they don't really actually harvest the grapes over there right and yeah. do that it's, and it's it's more like it's a also front market or, like a market thing yeah, yeah. Hmm. like actually harvesting grapes you don't get to see that at right. all right. right it's pretty right. underwhelming right Behind me are the sprawling vineyards of Vallone, one of the many wineries that have come up in Nasik uh, over the past decade or two. Uh, Nasik generally is supposed to, very, supposed to be very good for wine making grapes uh, because of its weather, a mixture of hot and cold and uh, its soil as well. And Nasik generally accounts for 80% of India's wine production. Uh, while the wine industry of Maharashtra, centered around Nashik, is still a far way off from uh, California, Tuscany or France where wine has been part of the culture for generations and centuries together, it is surely but slowly gaining ground as a tourism industry uh, in the country. For the print, this is Mansi Fadki.